Hey guys, Crypto Dad, thanks for joining me. And today I'm going to show you how to download and verify the Exodus Bitcoin wallet. So let's get started. So I had uh, a user in the comments that uh, asked me uh, a question about uh, some Bitcoin cash that he was trying to recover. And in the question, he mentioned the Exodus Bitcoin wallet. So it got me a little curious. I went over to their web page poked around a little bit and noticed that they had some really nice verification tools available, but they weren't uh, that straightforward, especially for Windows users. So I'd like to walk you through those. So here's my comment, and the question is about Bitcoin Cash, and as you can see, it's uh, Yaz Hirazo. And thanks again for uh, any of your comments or questions. Uh, I really like getting feedback from my viewers and uh, they usually give me ideas for new videos. So uh, thanks again. So here it is, he talks about the Exodus wallet. So I thought I'd go check it out and uh, walk you guys through the uh, verification. So let's go through, I'm gonna go over here to Firefox. Uh, remember when uh, we're in Firefox, in options, we wanna have uh, our download section should be set to always ask where to save files. Okay, so we're going to go over here to the Exodus homepage. All right, here's the download. Uh, I want the Windows 64 bit version, and then over here they have uh, some verification information here. Uh, so this is a PGP signed message uh, from beginning to end. Uh, as you can see, the uh, signature uh, is embedded, the signing file, the signature, the developer has signed this file so that we can trust it. And this is the information that he wants to give us, which is, uh, you know, inside the file. He wants to give us these uh, SHA-256 uh, hash files so that we can verify our download, the integrity of our download. And he's also provided us a way to get a hold of his public key. Uh, this is how uh, public key encryption works. Um, you can uh, download uh, any file that might be encrypted or cryptographically signed, and uh, you can verify, or verify it or decrypt it as long as you have the public key of the person that sent the file. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a hold of the public key of this developer. So um, I'll go back here. The first thing I'll do is download the Windows 64-bit installer. We're going to click Save File. And I'm going to go over to my software folder on my data drive. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call it Exodus. And we'll save in there. All right, and over here we can open up, uh, click this folder so we can see the file. There it is. We downloaded the installer into our Exodus folder. Now, what are we going to do with this information over here? Okay, um, the first thing I'm going to do is save this file, and I'm going to use the Save File feature in my browser, Save Page As. And I'm going to just save it right here in the Exodus folder. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab the signature file using this link. I'm going to open this in a new tab. Okay, this is his public key that uh, is available for anyone to add to their key ring. And once we've added it to our key ring, we'll be able to verify uh, this cryptographically signed file that he provided for us. Okay, so I'm going to do the same trick over here. I'm going to do a uh, save page as. And we're going to save it in the Exodus folder again. Okay, and now I'm going to launch GPA. Get this out of the way here. Do it later. Okay, now this is where I import the uh, key ring onto my, uh, or import the public key onto my key ring. If you don't have GPA, uh, you should go over here to uh, the GPG for Windows website where you can download these tools. I have a great video on how to do that, so um, you'll want to get that done for sure. Okay, let me get this out of the way, keep it clean here. 
Uh, we're going to do an import and we're just going to go over here to our four terabyte data drive software folder and exodus all right and there's the pgp keys uh, that we uh, downloaded those public that public key file and we'll click open and lo and behold we've got the public keys read and imported into our key ring there it is jp richardson uh, and you'll notice here this is his fingerprint starts with a one two 1240 and ends with 781A. Uh, we can go back over here to the web page and you'll notice here right, that this fingerprint is uh, embedded into the uh, web page here. It's the same fingerprint. I've looked at it. I would encourage you to take a look at it and make sure that it matches. Okay, we can also look here. On this little nice link here this is uh, sort of one of his home pages he's got some tools here uh, this keybase app which uh, sounds pretty cool to me I haven't looked at it yet uh, but over here uh, he provides the his uh, cryptographic keys uh, it's public key here uh, this is the file that we downloaded you know it's just another way of expressing it and then we see the fingerprint again here so it's a pretty good uh, uh, presentation here of these tools. Uh, so we've got some independent verification that this uh, public key does in fact belong to J.P. Richardson. Uh, I could even check another website, maybe we'll see his picture, see if they match, that sort of thing. Uh, this is what we do. And okay, so this is the file that has the SHA sums. We want to be able to trust this file, so what we're going to need to do is uh, check. Um, let's see, I can do it like this. That's, yeah, here it is. So pardon me. Um, if I do uh, the right click and verify, I'm going to get a key not valid message, which is true in a way, but not really. Uh, it's, not a, it's not that this key is not valid. Let me show you when we do it in command line. And uh, shift click, right click. Oops, right click, uh, shift, right click, open PowerShell, it's DIR. Now, uh, if we dash, I'm sorry, if we uh, GPG dash dash verify, I'm sorry, version, <laughs> I didn't even have to finish it. You should get this, okay? If you don't get this, then it means that it's not installed on your computer and go back here and check out my older video where I show you how to install these tools blah 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 okay so now we want to run our verification which is gpg dash dash verify and we're gonna verify this file here now it's just a single file with an embedded signature so uh, in other videos Sometimes they provide the signing file as a separate file where we need two parameters on the command line. In this case, the signing uh, file was embedded in the text document that we wish to verify. So we're just giving that one parameter. We're going to click enter and lo and behold, we got a good signature from JP Richardson. And uh, here's our fingerprint again. That's the same fingerprint that we saw before uh, up here. Right? And over here, wherever it went, ah, here, yeah, in the, the web address here. So we got pretty good uh, indication that this is, in fact, the right signature. <laughs> we still get this warning, though, telling us that we don't know for sure if this signature belongs to the owner. Now, uh, we can override that if we uh, right-click on his signature in our key ring and choose Set Owner Trust and give him Ultimate Trust. And we can click OK. That would be, hey, we've met him in person. We know for a fact that this is his key. Uh, there is no doubt whatsoever in our mind. Let's hit uh, up arrow to try the command again. And looky there. We get no warning whatsoever. So that's uh, key verification in a nutshell. OK, now that we can trust the file, now that we've verified that we can trust this file, now we can check this hash. Okay, I'm going to use WordPad to do this. WordPad is it better? Where is it with WordPad? Okay, 
So uh, the hash that we're interested in is uh, for the Windows version right here. This is the one we downloaded. This is the hash that we're looking for. So we're going to run the uh, SHA sum checker on this file, and we're hoping to get this hash. So here's my SHA sum software. I'm going to click Browse. And if we're not in that folder, we're going to click Software, uh, Exodus, and that's the file. That's the uh, installer that we want to verify. So we're going to just open that right up. And you'll see it generates a SHA. It generates a lot of uh, types of SHAs, but this is the SHA we want, the SHA-256. And it looks pretty close to this guy up here. This is what we're comparing it to. This is the file that we know we can trust. Here we go. And we copy that into our clipboard. So now in our SHA sum checker, we can paste that guy in here and click verify. And lo and behold, the SHA-256 matched. So now we know that we have successfully downloaded a good copy of the installer and that we can trust it completely and uh, start working on it. And uh, the, SHA sum, uh, the SHA verification shows us that the file was downloaded uh, without any corruption and any alteration by a third party. And we trusted that SHA because it was cryptographically signed by the developer. And we know that it, the developer is who he says he is because we compared that uh, signature to his public key that was available. And that's uh, the, the long and short of public key cryptography, guys. Oops. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to keep it short. I'll do another video on the installation of these tools. But uh, this verification step is very important, and it's a little mysterious to people. So uh, it was mysterious to me when I first started. So uh, I do these videos to sort of uh, demystify the process and uh, take you through a step-by-step. -step. So if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If uh, you'd like to subscribe to my channel, uh, I'd appreciate it. You'll get alerted whenever I post new videos. Uh, thanks again for joining me. We'll see you next time.